You know what needs Reparo? My jokes. Reparo! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Chair, and today I'll discuss new footage in Hogwarts Legacy, what you didn't know about the game, and new details. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Highwing! Autodesk showcased a presentation containing the new footage. They are a corporation that makes software products for game developers. The Hogwarts Legacy devs showed in this presentation the behind-the-scenes process of developing their game and bringing it to life with elements like motion and facial capture, virtual cameras, storyboarding, VAs, and other teams involved in development. They're putting a ton of effort into developing this special game, and this new cinematic is a piece of their hard work. In this cinematic, our character and his brave Gryffindor companion, not Sionai, overhears and secretly witnesses a group of dark wizards attempting to restrain a hippogriff with stun spells and in doing so they abuse the poor animal. The devs call these dark wizards poachers, which makes sense considering they're kidnapping the hippogriff. The hippogriff also appears to be identical to one our character wrote in Hogwarts Legacy State of Play. Our protagonist has a close relationship with this hippogriff as he addressed it by its name Highwing. Natsai Onai, driven by justice, quickly hatches a plan with our character to gather evidence, rescue Highwing, as well as get revenge on the horrible wizards. After seeing what the dark wizards did to the creature, revenge is going to be sweet. Let's crucio them all. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blast it! What's really noticeable about this cinematic was that our character has a different face than the state of play. Character customization will be very detailed and the developers actually showed new info on it in the Autodesk presentation. There is a preset section in the game with pre-made appearances for your protagonist. You can also customize gender, face shape, skin color, hairstyles, hair colors, complexion, facial details like freckles, moles, eyebrows, scars, markings on your face, and a mysterious final tab. Players can also add accessories to their characters like glasses and can choose Harry Potter glasses as an option. Who knows? We could get the glasses and the scar before Harry Potter does. Identity theft is not a joke, Cherry! Millions of families suffer from it every year! Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Hogwarts Legacy's level of detail and customization is more than enough for players to produce unique characters. Cyberpunk, on the other hand, has way too much character customization for a first-person game. But let's not go down that cursed road. More additional details were uncovered for the game like the full view of the Hogwarts castle and their software, as well as certain features in the game's build. Some features were under the name Deathly Hollows, Carriage Drivers, and Fight Club. Deathly Hollows as an option under Robe category could refer to the Cloak of Invisibility to render the wearer invisible. The option Carriage Driver could confirm the existence of Hogwarts Express and the carriage that takes us to the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Fight Club feature could mean that dueling clubs will be in the game where we fight other students with magic. Seeing that there is a Battle for Hogwarts option for professors gives me an impression that we will duel and fight professors as well. Speaking of professors, some professors' names have been associated with their faces now. Abraham Ronan is our Charms Professor from the Slytherin House. He's my favorite favorite professor already since he's also a Slytherin. Slytherin should always stick together. Professor He-Cat teaches defense against the dark arts. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. Professor Sharp teaches potions class. Phineas Black is this gentleman who is also our headmaster. It will be a fun year with them as headmaster because he actually hates Hogwarts students. The female witch next to him is the headmistress, Professor Weasley. This was proven in a mocap scene where the name was shown over the VA. Other details from the Autodesk presentation showed that we will meet our Hufflepuff companion, Poppy Sweeting, in the History of Magic Classroom shortly after we're sorted into our house. They also revealed the knock of Helga Hufflepuff on the Hufflepuff common room door. This means that all common rooms will have canon-accurate ways of entering. Another clip in the presentation showed a Hogwarts student opening a book with the letter H, causing Hogwarts to to shake. Dumbledore says that Hogwarts is a stronghold of ancient magic. Could this book be the key to our protagonist's ability to harness ancient magic? Where could such a book come from? Ancient fortresses are very important to Renrock, so this book could be what he is after. Avalanche also released certain teasers that hint on what could be in the game. One particular clip showcases a centaur statue with an arrow loaded in their bow. Behind it is a metal construction that resembles orbits and planets. We have a tapestry in the forest scene showing the centaur. Next to the tapestry, 
tapestry is a flu network which moves wizards from location to location without being seen by muggles. There were more of these flu networks near the herbology classroom and the backyard with the giant fountain. This proves that fast travel exists in the game. The heavy presence of centaurs is in this clip because the north tower is known as the divination tower. Centaurs are talented with astrology and divination, seeing the future. There is also another clip on Avalanche's Twitter of this divination tower. There is an engraved eye symbolizing divination and a glowing crystal ball. Behind it are paintings of a cat and a niffler. On to new details on Hogwarts Legacy, the release date will most likely be on December 6, 2022. Everyone believes this is the confirmed release date, because the Hogwarts Legacy art book is set to be released on that same day. In a previous Hogwarts Legacy video, I talked about a leak that could be in the DLC or Special Editions. Here are the confirmed items that could be in the Collector's Edition, Deluxe Edition, and the Standard Edition of Hogwarts Legacy, link below. This information has been data mined from the website. If you want to play the game 72 hours in advance, you can do so by purchasing the Collector's or Deluxe Edition. The release date for Hogwarts Legacy is getting closer, and everyone is very hyped for this game. Some of you even mentioned to me in the comments that you bought a PS5 just because of this game. That is huge dedication, and I hope this game will surpass our expectations. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to join the family for content like this. Comment down below your opinions on Hogwarts Legacy and what you hope would be in the game. Thank you for watching, and that's all.